Okay. Alright. Hey everybody. What is up? Welcome back to Retrograde Where Plays Pokemon Yellow Thunder Strike. I am your host, the dude with the most. Uh, Retrograde Where's very own Daniel Nakarizu Fortis, aka the Omega Jack. I'm not gonna waste your time with all the plugs, you know, all the social medias and where's where it's supposed to be. So we've we we came back with a re with two big long recap episodes, with some chill lo-fi beats, hopefully, um, and we reached Cerulean City after that arduous journey through Mount Moon, of uh, dying a bunch and having GK on last time. I'm by myself today, so. I'm just gonna like start walking around, talking to people, seeing what the mod has to offer us for Cerulean City. I have no idea. Like I'm, I had it's been a, like I I usually like to try and do like dry runs of stuff beforehand, but I just wanted to I just wanted to get to this town to find out what's different. And I think there's always a few things that's like super different that I didn't even like really talk about with GK about what we were seeing. That bush in front of the shop is in the way. There might be a way around. Oh yeah, like this little dock here. I heard about Zenon. He has become a notorious trainer. I don't know who that is. Might be some Drake Seawood, someone Drake Seawood respects. Yeah, like yeah, like this house, that all, all of that is messed up. I don't know what is out that Pokemon bat. Yeah, this guy tells us about the Pokemon badges. This house is so weird. This house has always been. It's like his house is like a cafe. Kind of like a cafe. I don't want to go too far up here. Like, that's... I don't know what any of that is. That's probably, like, fighting blue. So, I... Sp I spent a lot of, um... So, where everyone is... Legend... Okay, he's got it, but he's going to be on the back burner for a lot of stuff going forward right now. Some Wukongas are manky. I can't believe they never had the ability to like check different statuses that's like pressing like a button in a direction like up and down I could should be able to do that like, right now but I can't poison Kaiser our Nidoran Leer tackle double poison zing I should probably do like more recap episodes Pika our Pikachu best buddy Thundershock quick attack double team thunder wave it's going to be cleaning up a lot of water types around here Legend, absolute legend, literally carried us here. Emberlear Bite doesn't even have a fourth move yet. Glenn doesn't even have fourth move. Kate Sith out here, scratch payday all day. Bite water gun, like, can't stop this man. Why does a Meowth no water gun? How did I teach it to him? Watch the other episodes. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. A plain city bike is good enough for me. You can't put a shopping basket on an MTB. Hi, welcome to our bike shop. Now we got just the bike for you. It's a cool bike, don't you? Do you want it? Not for a mi not for, not for a milli, my guy. Come back again sometime. Ten thousand dollars, like polka dollars, is like the equivalency of yen, and I think like a million yen is like ten thousand dollars. It's terrible. Electrode Swift. No, that's wrong. Training Pokemon is difficult. Your Pokemon's obedience depends on your abilities as a trainer. But what does that mean? I don't have a trainer level. Like, this isn't Pokemon Go. Electrode is loafing around. I don't even need to respect you, lady. Use Repel to keep bugs and weak Pokemon away. Put your strongest Pokemon at the top of the list for best results. Have you seen any rare candy? It's supposed to make Pokemon go up one level. 
classics. The classics. Oh, wow, we got money, money. Definitely need, like, a bunch of these. Like, 10 at least. At least. Maybe more. Probably go with 15. I don't even know if this mod lets you use anything besides Pokeballs. This game might be straight up Pokeball. Nothing but Pokeball. I think I need to have, like, five of these. I was telling, remember last time I was telling GK about, like, they're a, they're a treasure, they're a resource? They're prized. And we're getting, we're gonna about, we're about, to, like, if we beat Misty, depending upon, like, where she's at. I don't know how much antidote I could possibly need. I didn't get poisoned that often. So, you know what? I'll just take two. Two extra. Just to have some extra. Burn heal. I don't run into that many fire types right now, but I'll just buy one for now. Don't know what's coming up. Just trying to trying to be prepared. Yeah, you know what? Buy two because you never you never know who's gonna hit you with a burn back to back, especially in this mod. Awakening. I'm pretty sure I still have some and paralyze heals. We've got 13 potions, 11 antidotes, three paralyzed heals. One rare candy, 24 Pokeballs. Moonstone, HP up. Dome Fossil, I should probably put that away. Five repels, two burn heals. I don't have any par- okay, I have paralyzed heals too. Uh, I don't have any awakening. That's not good. I don't have any awakening. Oh yeah, that I remember S something like a that that Zubat. Oh, putting me to sleep or something. Something was putting me to sleep consecutively. It's terrible. A mysterious blue aura surrounds Cerulean City. Watch out, dude! Level twenty isn't gonna be enough for this gem. Okay. Cerulean City Pokemon Gym Leader Blaine? The Fire Pokemon Master? Whoa, hold on. Whoa. Hold on. What? Oh wow, that's crazy. I don't I can't even wrap my head what I'm reading. In whoa, hold on. Oh, shoot! Misty's the seventh gym leader! Wow! But Lieutenant Surge and Erica are still three and four. I missed that completely, that Blaine was second. Why did Drake make Blaine second? I don't have that much grass type. It's not like he's gonna blow me away. Holy cow. I am so excited to see what he's got going on in his gym. Because there's like at least two or three gym trainers in Misty's gym, but things are switched up. So, th th see, this is why mods are interesting. This is why. They explore situations and scenarios that you otherwise would never get out of the normal out of the, out of normal playthroughs. And it's not to say like the normal playthroughs have no substance. In fact, they set a good precedent so that they can switch things up on you like this. These poor people here were robbed. We're positive that Team Rocket is behind this. Terrible deed. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Nurse, I mean, Officer Jenny. Out here on one. Whoa, hold on. I can escape this town? No. <laughs> See, that's the other interesting thing about this town. It's, it's like a dead end. Okay, so... I should go see what's in the grass around outside of town from Mount Moon first. And see if I don't remember if I fought every single trainer. I might have just tried to head into the town because I was I was hurting. We were hurting before. Did I talk to her? I don't feel like I've walked up to this lady particularly. Did I walk up to her? Oh yeah. I'll keep it home so it won't get dirty. Right. But how would you how is it? I guess that was one of those random NPC conversations where it's like, this doesn't make this doesn't matter. This is not important. 
but you're gonna listen to this person for a second. Level 20 is not going to cut it. What does that even mean? I should be careful because... This is a level 14 mod shop. A low kick, a, a well placed low kick is going to destroy me. Wow, we're just out here growing! See, and I got money too, out of a wild battle. It doesn't even have to be trainer battles. That's the grind. 280s equals 160, right? 160 is three po is three Pokeballs. Spiros out here and on one. See, this is actually good for Pikachu. Be out here and we can be out on one destroying this man. I'm not taking. I mean, like, Spearows are a great Pokemon, but I don't need a Spearow right now. Um, let's see. Not even sure, like, oh yeah, that's right, weak Pokemon. Repel is good for two reasons. Not is it, not only is it... Did I catch a Sandshrew? I think I did. Yeah, I did. It's like a decent level two. Blaine. Do I have to change my strategy? No, I have water. I have, I mean, like, this, I mean, that's gonna suck for Sanshu without the bonus, even without the bonus. Poisoned? No, please. Good, good. Feels good to feel, feels good to feel good, you know what I'm saying? Pretty decent amount of experience, too. No, I had to battle her to get through. Is there anyone else, though? Off the beaten path! Psyduck. Is this why they give you so many- give you Psyduck and, uh, Polyrath? Poly- Poliwag? Because they're so- like, he's a fire type and level 20 won't cut it? Maybe even the fact that Kate just can learn Water Gun is like an indication of like how much you better be on your A game for this gym. Not sure how to gauge the entire situation. Not ent entirely sure how to gauge what to do next. I mean, like training is obviously one of the factors here. I could be going up towards Nugget, usually what is Nugget uh, Bridge, see what's going on there. But I want to exhaust. I want to exhaust beyond a shadow of a doubt that there's nothing special in this grass. Sorry if you guys had to hear me uh, drink a little there. Just drinking coffee. Got a lot to do today. Recording right now and playing D&D &D and recording that later. Hopefully, I can start adding that series to the channel. Although, unfortunately, we've had about two, three runs now, and I messed up on uh, the recording last week. Because you'd already be watching some of our plays had I been a little bit on it, a little bit more on it. But we're actually transitioning into out of our uh, training wheel phase as a group. And it's been really fun learning Dungeons and Dragons rules and being able to like understand Foundry. And my friend has been holy cow. See, this is what I'm saying. Like even even if you're level 21, if you're weak to something in Gen 1, it will end you. It can end you. Uh, da, 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 da. I should probably definitely switch left to left. No, wait, Sun Wukong, because there's there's Sandshrew in here. And he could be getting the easy level ups against ground types. I could even walk back into Mount Moon and beat up all the normal types in there too with him. And it said level level 20 isn't going to cut it, which means I have I should be utilizing all my resources, including the resource of fighting things in here. 
and this and this game is apparently a grind. This mod is a grind. Usually, like the only reason I sped things up last time, uh, is because I didn't have the original file. But now we're farther than we were originally, and that's what I've been trying to work towards this entire time. Ah, oh, dang it! It's not very effective. Ah, oh, but it made you flinch. Harden. Grimer, why are you... It's like, why are you being pesky? Where's all those level 15 onyxes? Bring, bring them out. Bring those mans out. Those mans? I want to talk to those mans. I got smoke for those mans. But yeah, uh... Yeah, I I usually would be speed like it's like oh this is just you should you could speed this up right now, this whole training thing. It's like no, this is part of part of this journey needs to happen anyway for any Pokemon game. I could not I don't have to show you every single inch of it all, but a lot of different things can happen once you've like leveled up. And I'm not gonna do something stupid like waste time. Man, you can never unsee the fact that that Diglett's mouth looks, Diglett's nose looks like it's like an open mouth with a tooth out. It has only one tooth. You can never unsee that once you can see it. And since I can't unsee it unless I try really hard, you now will never be able to unsee it too. Cursed! Joking. <laughs> This is not, this is probably the worst cave song, because the Game Boy, like, if there is a mod that needs to happen for a lot of these other mods that could improve mods in general for Pokemon in terms of Gens 1 and 2, uh, I think it would be making the sound chip, or making the sound, like, if I could be, I could insert my own music, right? I could be doing that right now, but I feel it's more authentic to have the actual music, like, the gradingness, like... I gotta give you- Oh! Look who showed up! I gotta give you the real experience of what, like, playing Pokemon was at the time. Trying to alter that mood and just, like, take away a lot of the pain that comes with the pleasure of- of how- of, like, overcoming. Plus, this is- this is supposed to be a Pokemon hard mode, right? Like, this is supposed to be the hard mode. We're supposed to be here for the- the grind turn struggle. So that when we come out on top, we're gonna be like, yeah, we did it. We went through those tar those hard times. They sucked, but we got through it. Wow, that's a lot of experience. I forgot that heavy uh, heavy Pokemon like Onix were like treasure troves of experience. I don't know what that what what that was. It's like if like the rule to me, as I understood it, I've never heard any PokeTuber ever talk about this. So if anybody's hearing this now, you and I haven't already done it, you should probably make this an idea or something. But for some reason, whatever, I noticed in Pokemon. If the Pokemon was like extremely heavy or big in some way, like they got so much more, they gave so much more experience. Like I don't think I'm gonna get nearly as much from this Cubone as I did from Onyx. Like even getting more than 200 experience points is crazy to me. So let's find out, let's see. Let's like do a little test. Yeah, that was nothing. 186? That was nothing. Onyxes are weight. Oh yeah, that's right. This is where I should be. I should be uh let's uh pop uh Yeah. Because it's only apparently, as the instructions say. It's only weak Pokemon that won't show up at this point. Pokemon will still show up. They just will be, they're just going to be weak. Right? Man, they hit so many... There's something... I know this music... I said this music was kind of grating, but there's something nostalgically fun to me about just looking at... <sighs> Repel's effect wore off. Okay, nothing came out. 
during that one, but I'm not going to waste more because, like, that's the thing about some of the ways that they explained how some of this, how Pokemon as a game works. Like, some things don't make sense, like the infamous Fire Spin, where if you keep doing it, you're locked. Like, you don't get a move. Like, it's a kill. Like, it's a one-shot kill. Grass versus Bug. Um... Hmm. Scratch. I really wish you knew Slash. You know what? Time to... Whoa, no. I shouldn't have even let him take that hit. That's what I realized too late. Right, you're the... You're the Pokemon... You're the Pokemon in this area that will status effect the ever-loving snot out of you. Not gonna bother using any healing items and stuff. As the team deteriorates and levels up through the training, I will switch where things are becoming too hectic or hard to progress. So this might just be a straight-up training episode for a bit here, because we're trying to get Wukong... Possibly to level 20, however long that takes. Shouldn't take too long, as long as if we keep running into an if we run into an onyx or two. Zubats are not necessarily what I'm after. Getting everything out of level out of the teens levels. Even legend. Like instead of going straight to Pikachu, I should just go to him first. I hope everybody's doing okay. I know things are rough right now because we're back in quarantine for a lot of places. I myself am also back into quarantine. Not really trying to go anywhere, trying to do some projects and stuff and get more things going. Been in a funk lately. Feeling a little bit better. Nothing to be confused about as the gr as shoutouts to show food is showing us like there's nothing to be confused about in certain situations. Why are you confused? You know that I'm your trainer, and this is a nobody Pokemon that's bothering us on our journeys. It's not even an Onix. You shouldn't even be wor you shouldn't even be fighting right now, Legend. It's like, yeah, you're right. You're right. There's nothing to be confused about. And then just bit him. End of the game. End of the end of the scene right there. And that's why he's. And that's why my. I, that's why I named my Growlithe, and why I usually name my Growlithe an Arcanine's Legend. But also because Growlithe is like a pseudo legendary. Because not only are were Growlithe once upon a time rare, but great, it's a really long journey to po to level fifty to evolve, or level forty something for a Growlithe to become a an Arcanine. See, and it's like. For Pika, it's too easy. It's way too easy. I should probably give Wukong a potion. We have 13 of them. And we're trying to train. It would be it would be stupid to get him knocked out on one hit when we find an Onyx and he gives us 400 experience for a one-shot. Because that's what we're here for. We're here for easy experience. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm just here to give you conversation, uh, chill conversation over some nostalgia of like how Pokemon is experienced back in the day. And if you're just joining us, uh, hey, what up? Hope your day's going good. Spending a little too much time on Twitter. Gotta be gotta be productive in whatever way I can. While I'm struggling to figure out what I want to do next. Or how I want to ne uh, next tackle a project in terms of website design. Or designs in general. Oh! Uh, I, I'm i sorry everybody who's like watching this and is wondering like, Where are all the sales and cool stuff and promotion for the clothing during this time of year? And the, pro and the, the, the honest truth is, I know y'all could be spending your money on 
pretty much so many other things right now. It's Christmas time. I get it. We're in the middle of a pandemic, though, and people are spending money a lot needlessly, myself included. So I don't want to add more to this idea that um, you got to be spending money in this pandemic. You should probably be saving your money in this pandemic. I mean, you could give it to me. I'm not going to stop you from doing that. www.retrogradeware.com But don't feel you got to do it or that you have or you should feel like if you want to, that's great. I'm not going to badger you. Like, of course, like commerce is important. And it's important to be able to make money so that you can pay for things like your rent or for making more designs and whatnot. But... I don't ever want people to feel compelled to help me simply because I'm begging them. And I'm not saying that anybody who does that, who is consistently like uh, promoting themselves or in their work, that's just you promoting yourself. I just personally feel like I would be begging. Because if you, if enough people are like following me, like I won't need to tell you guys. You'll just, you'll just, I'll just promote something when it's a good time or a good opportunity and I can do it and I will and if you see it and catch it or if I send you something because like I already know that you purchased something before then I will totally like like that's it like if you buy it through that method or means like that's all I could ask for you watching me play or getting this getting to this point of the, the let's play that's a thank you as well a like another thank you like there's so many free ways that you can do all these cool things for me that it feels wrong for me to like beggy to like beggy beggy you to like support me as though you're not already doing so just by watching <laughs> so thank you for just being you and taking because remember like time is time is the only universal thing that not everybody gets equal opportunity to have of and once it's gone it's gone So for you to spend your time here watching me grind, playing this hard mode uh, stream slash YouTube, that means a lot to me. I feel I feel great I feel grateful that you would want to spend your time here doing this when you could be doing anything else. You could be starting your own YouTube channel. And honestly. If you wanted to do that, if you you should still start a YouTube channel. Think about what you could think about what you are good at. Think about what you would spend your time mostly doing. Like I spend my time mostly playing video games or designing things or thinking or playing video games to get inspired to design things. So if that's the case, I should probably be spending my time doing those things. And it's like, oh, shouldn't you stream yourself designing at times too? It's like, well, at baby steps. Just like how you, if you haven't made a YouTube channel, make a YouTube channel and then tell me like, hey, I made a YouTube channel. Now you have to stream, now you have to stream all your art and stuff and your designs and stuff on Twitch and like, let us be a part of that process. And then I'll be like, fine, bet. These Grimers are really grading me. They're hard to kill. They don't give a lot of experience and they poison. Oh, but beating you up is always fun. Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Please, please, please don't miss. Of course you wouldn't, Sun Wukong. Got that easy experience. That's what I'm talking about, right? Like, see how fast that is? It wouldn't feel like grinds were taking way too long if the one, if the mons that I wanted to find were the ones that I wanted, or the ones that we ran into. But we gotta take what we can get in a lot of cases. Because we have zero control of the spawn count. It's far too much power for the player to have at any, any given point. Actually, is that a problem in Pokemon Sword and Shield? Like, being able to... Or even just um, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I don't have Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee yet. I don't know if and when I'm going to get them. But they're cheap! They're actually cheap in so many ways. In so many Like, it's crazy... That I don't have them. I didn't buy Sword and Shield for myself. 
and I should feel more gratitude that I got to play it and understand like the context of like, is it fun or is this not a good Pokemon? Is this dumb? Is this a, is this a dumb like way to get to the 3D, like a fully 3D open world kind of esque Pokemon game? This is a half hearted attempt, but it's like, I guess our expect there's no right way to do where we currently are in Pokemon because I, I assume that even Game Freak themselves didn't think they were going to actually have like something as powerful as a switch as like a you got to make a Pokemon on a, a Pokemon mainstay on something like this. Although it's argued or questioned that it's like, oh, they took like the switch came out in 20 in 2017. It's now 2020. So that's three years ago, but it was announced in 2016. So it's like they had like, and the thing is, if they launched it in, if they if they let the world know that it was out in two that it was that, that it was coming in 2016, that means they've known they were going to release it since 2015, 2014, because the Wii U was like a half step, like that was the problem with the Wii U in the first place. People didn't know what it was and like what it could do and like is it is like do you buy a screen for is it are, do you, if you buy the screen does it does it uh does it improve your Wii? Do you have to buy the new console with it? Why is it called Wii U? Right? And that actually that that conversation's actually really fun to have in for me especially because it segues into the conversation of what's coming next for the Switch and the Switch Pro and a friend of mine who uh you probably might have you might have heard like hopefully the podcasts are out but if they're not I'm sorry but uh, my friend, Kiseki, uh Crescendo, uh, he was talking about how the next, the Switch Pro, like he was, he, he's been saying that a Switch Pro is probably not what's happening, but he's becoming more and more uh, beholden to the idea that it's possible, that it's more than like, because it's, because he has a more business oriented mind than I do. I just assume things from a consumer standpoint, like if you give the customer what they want, they give you your money faster. And that's how businesses should be operating, but that's not how they operate. So um, I'm I'm more like I feel more naive because there's dollars and cents and there's uh, values of like how to get the video games out to us at a certain time limit. And when I and as I say this, like recently, we just had the information of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, it was supposed to be out, I think, this week, but it's gotten moved another week over and it's funny it's hilarious because people like are making videos about like yeah i'm so excited to be finally able to play 2077 i'm probably gonna play it too but probably not at the same time as everyone else oh and we're not even supposed to be playing like i actually i just saw like three days ago apparently now it's like this that a go on twitter today about what the rules are about streaming um 2077 and you can't do anything until december set december 9th and right now it's only december 5th but people are getting advanced copies and such so yeah interesting interesting stuff interesting stuff but what i was saying before about um the switch and the wii u the wii u was a confusing console because people didn't know what it was supposed to be was it an upgraded console or was it a standalone they didn't want to make the same mistake with the switch so they released the Switch, where the idea of the Switch in and of itself, well, um, cannot cannot be confused. And they had a they they basically they've completely one aided everything that was wrong with the Wii U, where it had no third party support. The Switch has all third party support, where there was uh uh very long periods of uh first party titles coming out, um. Switch, the Switch doesn't have that problem, where there isn't where there isn't any clear sign of where the future. Like if it's hot, like it's a hot system that just keeps selling. Animal Crossing is on it, Zelda is on it, Mario Kart is on it, Mario Party is on it, a mainstream Super Mario game is on it, Super Mario Maker Two is on it, Pokemon is on it. There's just there's just more. Everything is on it. Like everything is on the Switch, as opposed to where everything wasn't on the Wii U. Like not, and it wasn't getting there fast enough. So the switch was the they had to switch it up literally. Otherwise, they were going to they were do, and I feel so bad for everybody who's basically used in the whole process of what um of what the Wii U was. It's basically people were demoing the switch, 
because that's basically what the Switch became, right? Like, instead of a dedicated uh, secondary screen, basically what people... Because people looked at the, the Wii... Like, if you analyze the timing between the, the, the releases, you see, you see... You have the Wii. You have the gimmick of the motion controller, and that's a gimmick for a... a like, that's it. Like, that's the gimmick. Like, it's a GameCube's... Two GameCube's uh, duct tape together that give you the ability to, like, hold things like they were real objects that, like, you would usually hold with your hands. Like, paddles for table tennis, real tennis, swords, clubs, you know, Red Steel was a big game. Uh, we were supposed to get Devil's Third forever and a day ago. That's already on Switch and, like, forgotten. Like, I wanted to play that game forever, and that game was, like, not in... Uh, but that like that's another thing entirely. Um, my point was that the the Wii U had a, it was very confusing for Nintendo at the time that they were they released the Wii U and up until the Switch came out because people were still associating Nintendo with being a very kid friendly kid oriented company. Uh, they had to start telling people like, no, the, this next system, the Switch, is not just a portable console, it's a home console, and it's supposed to appeal not just to kids, but to young adults and, pe and adults themselves. Because they kept the gimmick of the motion controls of the Wii, slapped it on the sides of a singular screen DS, or cell phone, or portable device, and... started making really really exquisite games that were like appearing on like other mobile games like phones um and then started making games for it now we are there's a possibility with the switch pro full circle that the we uh, oh oh wait but i'm get i can get bulbasaur up on the top there no wait it's at the daycare right or it's the Charmander I get right now. I need to catch this. Just in case. So now, uh, like I was saying, the the Wii U system part, like we took we took the screen, and now it's a system in and of itself for Switch or for Nintendo, a mainstay system, like a main main release generational console for it as a company but the other cool thing that can happen now what people were not thinking modularly about was that now they can make they can take all of the ideas of what the switch the wii u main console and how it had its what it what what its uh high points and low points were dang i was trying so hard not to kill it trades silver linings yes yeah get rid of get rid of leader more criticals is criticals would be great um they instead of because everyone was thinking the switch pro was going to be an upgraded switch that has the same old dock and I guess I was explaining it incorrectly, but my friend, Kiseki, came back to me and said, Okay, if I wanted to be tinfoily hat about it, what if they were making new bases for Switches, and that's the Pro, and that's what's going to be having a, G a dedicated GPU inside of it? And, and, what if they're the, the new Switch that supposedly has the ability to have pseudo 4K even in handheld mode, what if that was the new Switch? Like, that's the that's the whole thing. Like, you can still play Switch games, Switch Pro games on your Switch, but you they won't they won't play as well as they could play. And it was like, doesn't that split the 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 the, the consumer base? And it's like, no, because you're upgrading everything. You can you could buy a new console or just buy the base. Right? Because you can put things in the con the base con the base because it could be a standalone console. He was saying actually even that the idea of creating this next the Switch the Switch Pro would be different of resembling what 
the Vita, the PS Vita, had with the PS4 and 3, where you can stream your games directly to your system no matter where you are in the world, and then it doesn't even matter. And when he said it, I'm like, you know what? That is the smartest thing. Recycling the technology, they always use each other's ideas in different ways anyway, and that's probably better. Put all the, the, the heavy lifting guts inside uh, the main console, and then just, yeah, just have, just be able to, you can play your games, uh, on the go, at a certain frame, and the, and I guess the frames, the, the frame rate and po overall power would probably be better on the Switch Pro console itself, but if you're using the Pro dock, to stream it it's just as good like anything else like it would be so when you come home it's the it's the it's the crystal clear experience of being at home right you the full blown like large screen large projector no matter what your setup is large whatever 4k screen if you like 4k ready like f ready for your like that would be the killer that would be the that would be the way they keep their third party support because a lot of third party wants to be able to easily port um, whatever games are making to the Switch so they can get on, in and on the, uh, sweet, sweet, uh, 50, 50 million getting even bigger. Like, it's ridiculous how fast Switches are moving, even in this pandemic. And catching, and closing the gap between the PS4 overall sales, and now we're in PS5 era. Yeah, that would definitely, that wouldn't, that wouldn't eat sales per se. Because people would just start giving their old switches to other people and getting new switches and nothing would have been lost. You could even give away games to people and rebuy like collector's editions of games and such. It's crazy. It's actually a pretty good idea. And I was like, that's brilliant. That's exactly what they're there. And it's not even a matter of like what because what else they could do. Like the other ideas aren't even worth considering because this is the most cost effective way of doing it build an entirely new console that can still work that can that runs that effectively is just an improved switch but and can run switch game old switch games but with its processing power divvied up and uh, better aligned for itself doesn't need to do more than it has to while still doing the same thing but better and that's the name of the game in business right do it again, but better, and do it even cheaper, make more money. Capitalism. Capitalism! Ho! Yeah, I like to play Resetera. Wait, is that what it's called? Dun uh, being a dungeon, uh, being an adventure shopkeeper? Oh yeah! I have moon. I have moonlight. Uh, moonlighter. Got to play that for you guys eventually. But I have to play at least one Zelda first, and I I feel like it's going to be the first Legend of Zelda, but it's going to have the uh the Link to the Past uh, uh sprites. Got to figure out which. Yeah, I got to figure that out. Cause there's no way I can play the original game and be okay. Maybe there's a mod of like a Legend of Zelda one game that looks like uh link's awakening in the oracle games i will play the heck out of that one so if anybody sees that point that towards me as soon as possible from there i thought he had magic pixel i'm like thundershocked and magic pixel nani nani I take another drink of coffee because it's technically also my breakfast. I don't see any lines. 
You might have heard a few of those. Just think of it as ASMR. I apologize. I was really, I was just really thirsty, and my and my stomach was like growling at me. And after I'm finished uh, streaming for a couple of hours, I have to go and make dinner. Oh, there he is. The best boy. I was running into like four of these in a row. I wonder how deeper I would have to go back into the mount to be able to like find them in the row again. Dang, that's a lot of experience. That helped. That really helped. That sped things up a little bit. If I ran into another one right now, run into more Grimers than anything else. It's not the worst. It could definitely be worse. You can't stop that, like... Taking too much damage, huh? I understand. Doesn't matter a lick to me, though. Yeah, you gotta get your hit in. Yeah, yo! So that's everybody now in level 20, right? But that's not enough to beat Blaine. Oh wait, nope, Legend's not. But Legend could be... Legend will probably level up as we go up. I really was just I was fretting more for him. I was fretting more for Wukong because he was the lowest. Legend will definitely catch up. And we're not even and I'm not even sure if I'm keeping current lineups right now cuz I feel like I said that I wanted to have Red's team from Gold because I want to have the team that Gold will face and that cuz I already have a Pokémon um crystal mod lined up after we're done this. Which is also a hard mode. Because it's like it's actually a hard mode. And then even after that, I have another Pokemon game lined up. Pokemon Prism. That I'm going to play after. I guess, I don't know if it's called Pokemon um, Brown. But uh, it's a uh, hard mode crystal. I don't even think there's like a weird, there's like a fun name for it. All the, you can, it's just like this one, except like, there is no following poke, you don't have a following friend, like Pikachu. You play as Gold or Chris, or, or Chris, from, who was brought in, the female trainer from Crystal. We're gonna be playing as Crystal, as opposed to Gold, because I like Chris a lot. And that was, where everyone had, uh, Gold and Silver, I waited until Crystal came out. And got Crystal. And it was the one I liked the most, because of the way that it was, um... The way that it's, uh, game cart was designed. And I feel that was like peak. Peak design. What is this odd route? What is this? Why can I come up this way? What is this? Oh, is this because if I if I can't beat if I can't beat blue at the, the bridge? So I should go fight I should go fight fight him right now, right? Do I not? Can I not? Can I not? Um, I can't get if I can't get past him, right? Like, I, is that the other thing too? Is he too strong on this route in this way? You know, I, I don't really feel like I need to save because it's not like there's any stakes here. I'll just go by. I'll just get sent back to the Pokemon Center. But just yo, Red. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Red. You snot-nosed punk. Had it easy your whole life. This man has his Fero already. Putting myself at a disadvantage from jump. Terrible. Wait, his Fero is his lowest... Ooh. 
drill pack. It's a very good move. That doesn't yeah, that doesn't matter. Oh, with the takedown. You are actually a threat now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, see how that was? Like, evolved forms and large Pokemon always give you more experience. Abra. Hmm. Payday. Nice. That was actually a really good move. Oh, with the Psybeam Reprisal! Crazy powerful. Man, I'm thinking about like this in classic Ken Sugimori art. And, like, just us facing off each other against our Pokemon like this. No, I will not! Because WATER GUN! Oh? Who would take the least amount of damage? Glenn. Why well, I should I should use his team. I should use his team to level up. Why should I let him win? Get an iota. Oh no. Dead? Crazy. Yo, bring out your Eevee right now. Let me let me get pumped up. Yeah. No, nah, we don't need to learn that. No, we don't need to learn that. Yeah, for now. Yo, bring it. No, absolutely not. Focus energy. That's not going to do enough. But it definitely, he's like, the next move is Hyper Fang, definitely dead. Yeah, okay. But I just raised my attack, so you're probably going to die in one hit. Yeah, yeah, critical. Yeah, 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 yes. Yes, yeah, you are. Nope, no, you're not. Eevee, come. See this right here? Oh, with the quick bite. Oh, yeah? Word. Let's see if you can beat Legend now. Leer. Oh, yeah? I had the same thoughts, eh? Oh, you're going for the double. Bro, I don't know what you're trying. Oh, no! Nah. See, we gotta switch now. I'm not taking that. <laughs> oh! Nah, double kick. Come on, don't miss. Don't miss. Da. Now nah, you're done. You're done. Is so good that he knows double kick. So good.